I'm invisible. Okay, squirrel, I clearly have to walk here. Jesus Christ. Welcome, welcome back, my oodles and oodles to more Baldur's Gates. I've been excited to continue on our journey. Obviously, I have been reading the comments, so I am excited to jump back in and do some touches on the on the party that we currently have. So let's not waste any time. Let's just jump right into it. Okay, I'm not as familiar with all the names just quite yet, but let me spin you a tale on what has transpired so far. Since setting out on our journey, we've escaped the hells on the Nautiloid and crashed somewhere back on the material plane. We explored the area and found out people were taking refuge in a grove. After talking to the people, we learned that there is a healer named Nettie in the grove and that maybe she might be able to help us out with the Mind Flayer parasite that currently resides in our eye sockets. We've gained a couple of new companions, a wizard named Gale, a strange elf who also was infested with a parasite named Astarian and a half-elf named Shadowheart. We also encountered Lazel. I don't know if I spelled that or pronounced that correctly, but unfortunately, she kind of got clipped out of our party. We met her, we freed her, defeated the tieflings, and we left her to her fate, meaning we, <laughs> we camped and she clipped out of the out of the game because I can't I made camp so that's kind of what's transpired so far and since then you guys mentioned something about leveling up our party oh I can level up I don't think I was explained the leveling up mechanics oh my Honestly, that probably would make a lot of sense why I wasn't able to defeat a lot of these little... <laughs> the fact that I wasn't able to actually defeat a lot of the enemies that were coming at us, this would definitely help me out. With a rogue level two, we get a health increase. We get an additional action. Three additional actions, disengage, dash, and hide. Uh, with... Okay, well, I guess we don't have to go through each level up, but yeah, we probably should level her up too. We can change Gail's subclass. I mean, necromancy kind of would be cool. I don't know. I, my, I'm debating between evo evocation and necromancy. I'm sorry. No, and conjuration. I think conjuration or evo evocation. Did I say conjuration? I meant enchantment. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm getting all sorts of confused. Okay, so we are all currently level two. I mean, so far, I feel like we're doing pretty good. We were doing good, even if we were only level one. So I think we're just gonna keep on our main quest a little bit. So I am a little worried because we killed some tieflings. Yeah, I killed some tieflings. I don't know if they're like part of this camp but I really hope not because I killed them so that's seriously gonna have some consequences <laughs> so it says our main quest is somewhere over this way oh uh, it isn't the talk of the camp thank goodness you came along when you oh <laughs> there isn't a bit of color in those cheeks petal are you hot petal cold? feverish Auntie Ethel will sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. Oh, there's no need. I'm really fine. I'm just here to trade. Let her fuss over you. Yeah, absolutely. Uh -huh. You take a sip of that and you'll feel right as rain, sweetie. Uh, and what is this exactly? Drink the potion. Might this concoction also help with something more serious? Ooh, I can have a halfling response or a rogue response. It would be remiss of me to turn down a homemade brew. Thank you kindly. This is expertly made. This is an expertly... Yeah, let's do the rogue. Oh, stop with the sweet talk. Here, take the end of the... I know I'm so roguish. I'm sorry to go on about it, but are you all right? You're looking awful peaky. You know, now that you mention it, I'd, I, it's, you know, I wish someone would fuss over me. I've been better. It's difficult to explain. I'm fine. Just bone weary after a difficult day. That's no concern of yours. It's difficult to explain. Oh, I've seen it all. I once had a fella who'd been caught dabbling with a dryad. Oh, how scandalous. I was none too pleased and introduced him to a pot of boiling oil. But Jesus Christ. Not, I fixed him up, and depending on the lighting, he looks good as new. My point is, whatever ails you, I promise I've seen worse. I highly doubt that. What is it, Petal? What's wrong? <laughs> I've got a mind flare parasite in my head. There's nothing wrong, I swear. Everything's fine. It's no concern. Let's just tell her. As you recount your adventure, Auntie Ethel nods along. Her eyes. Starian approves and Shadowheart disapproves. You poor pet. My heart goes out to you, truly. 
I see no sign of a tentacle yet, but that could change in an instant. You need help. Serious help. Hey, tell me something I don't know. I've never a potion or lotion here that could do it, but yes, I may have something at home. Oh, such as? I've collected some interesting bits and bobs over the years. You'll have to stop by my house just at the edge of the forest. Let me mark it on your map. Ooh. I'll be heading back soon so I can meet you there. Now, do you need anything? I have a few odds and ends for sale. I did not anticipate her having any sort of idea on how to help us because I thought we were just supposed to go to the camp and help the refugees. But now I'm standing here like, oh, maybe, maybe this was the route we were supposed to go on all along. Show me your wares. Hey, bother. I like her. All right. So she's got gold. <laughs> I like that she just, we can see her gold on her. Uh, we do have a quite um quite a bit of gold actually oh i have to offer something in return oh oh let's just we have tons of weapons i don't really know oh i like that it shows you you're equipped and then you're what you're looking at so you can actually compare see if you're gonna use it i'm not really gonna use any javelins quarter staff wait i'm just trying to figure out the trading system persuasion switching characters no oh i got it okay so i have a hide persuasion what if i don't give her all of that stuff then what if i hold on to some of this let's hold on to some of our valuable stuff maybe how interesting so should i ask her for something else then ocean of invincibility maybe <laughs> invisibility sorry invisibility i mean let's do this then i feel like this is a good offer so let's accept trade and i could trade for it back oh that's so cool be careful near a trader's watchful eyes their attitude towards you affects their price of their stock oh okay well let's put some clothes on jesus <laughs> what if i put this on so if i just put this on oh oh i did not just do that i think i used it oops i should have been looking more closely <laughs> i'm invisible <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Okay, my invisible potion wore off. That's nice. All right, I'm so I'm supposed to go off. I want to go this way. Let my daughter go right now. She's a thief hell spawn. Oh, these are the people we got to talk to. Now get back. Oh, let me through, Ragrashab, or I'll rip your damn throat out. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my. You know, that probably could have gone better. Carl Magrin, give her a chance. You, get back. Oh. If it weren't for me, you'd be overrun by, by goblins by now. I'll go where I please. Why? What's so special down here? I'm not looking for trouble. Can't you just let me by? Ignore them and proceed. Let's ask why. Why is so special down here? It's forbidden to outsiders. Korga's orders. I'm not looking for trouble. Can't you just let me by? No. And you'll find trouble all the same unless you get out of my sight. Dang. Giona. Yeah, let the guy talk. What? Oh, I understand. You. Apparently, Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. Oh, me? Okay, you guys stay here. Just behave, yes? Oh, okay, they can come. My friends can come. Who's Kyogra? Is this sleeping bear up here? Oh, no, that's Tuffet. You know, I, I know that my character is kind of boring in the grand scheme of it all because I'm just a rogue. And I think that the rogue class has been nerfed a lot in this game, but that's okay. Cause I still, I just wanted to be more role, role in the role play. All right, where's the girl we're supposed to talk to? To Han, Inui. Oh, we can steal the idol of Sylvanas. I'm sure they'll be really happy with us if we do that. Alar, Volvo, uh, Volo, Bosk. I mean, do we go, well, I don't really know. Do we go up? Maybe we go up this. Yeah, I think we're supposed to go up here. Talk to the bear. Throw a fish next to the elevator. Animal handling. Carefully nudge. Let's do that. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm really excited. That does it. That does it. That's enough. Look at that. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, goodbye, companions. Oh, hello. I can talk to the squirrel. Well, I, I guess that makes sense. Everybody can shift into animals, so I'm, 
Guess we can talk to a squirrel. I love the camera angles because I'm so small. <laughs> the squirrel lunges at your foot. Hey! Bites it. What the hell? Dexterity, kick the squirrel. Animal handling. I'm gonna study. I mean, animal handling came in handy last time, so let's do it again. Come on, baby. That does it. Let's go. It's weird. All my little skills are coming into handy. You follow the squirrel's gaze to a pair of clumsy, ugly feet. Your own on her territory. Oh my. Looking around, her territory extends from one end of the grove to another. Okay, squirrel, I clearly have to walk here. Intimidation, get out of here. Animal handling, scold her and click your tongue. I'm gonna scold her. I feel like animal handling, you only get the choice of animal handling if you are proficient in animal handling. So I feel like that's just a fun one to do, right? Come on, yes. Don't leave me down now. All three rolls, a success. you for a moment before twitching her ears. Compromise. After a final squeak of warning, break the rules and there will be trouble. She scurries away. <laughs> Reward! Oh, that's cool. We convinced Timber to let us walk on our territory. She left us a small trinket to keep us away from the trees. Oh, okay. Thank you, Timber. <laughs> Maybe we weren't supposed to go up here. Okay, well, who are we supposed to talk to? K Karik? Is it this one? Nope. He has some very not insightful words. Are we supposed to go in the door? Yes! The shapeshifters in this are so cool. Please. I'm sorry. This is madness, Korga. She Korga. A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? Jesus. I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. Oh, that's unsettling. Okay, thief, poison, what's the girl's actual crime? Imprison her, she's just a child. Do nothing, one of your guards outside said you wanted to see me, here I am. Hmm, a thief, poison, what's the girl's actual crime? You mean parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. Wait, what was it? She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. Jesus Christ. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely do it. I these are some interesting options. Nature. Don't druids cherish harm harmony. Jailing the girl's dispute disrupts nature's balance. Persuasion. Release her. I'll see that she stays out of trouble. Detect thoughts. Read Cog. I feel like she'll know exactly what will be in her head. Keep silent, prepare to attack. Those are not good options. I'm good at persuasion, so we're just gonna do that. It's a pretty tough, okay. Okay, that does it. We should be always trying to do persuasive because why else would we have picked those as proficiency classes, Very you know? She may go. Break your word. Ooh. And my serpent shall feed. Tila to me. Out, thief. I got some points with everybody. Has its limits. Thank you, Korga. Master. Oh, that was interesting. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. Oh my. The journal got updated with Shadowheart. Inspiration, you've gained a point of inspiration. Use it to try again when you fail a roll. Wow. Let's oh, we can we can talk to the party members. I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. That's awesome. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. Oh my god. It's hard to like her, I'm gonna be honest. Something I have to live with. How badly does it hurt? Are you sure it's not connected to the tadpoles? Turn to other matters. How badly does it hurt? Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Are you sure it's not connected? Turn to other matters. I mean, should I be talking to party members more? I feel like maybe let's get to know each other. Must we? No harm in a little mystery, don't you think? Okay, well, I don't 
If you're not comfortable, I won't press you. Just looking for conversation. We have to rely on each other easier if we also know each other. You don't have, you don't want to talk about yourself. If you're not comfortable, I won't press you. Thank you. I'm sure we'll get along perfectly well. You, you are so hard to like. <laughs> okay, let's talk to Gail. That woman has more venom in her heart than a snake in its fangs. But at least the child is safe. What is youth if not a time to be forgiven for one's transgressions? I could not agree more. Putting a child on display like that was monstrous. Like that was monstrous. I'm glad we intervened. Forgiveness means nothing if she doesn't learn from her mistakes. Sounds like you have something to confess. I would say forgiveness forgiveness means nothing if she doesn't learn from her mistakes. Oh, let's cut the kids some slack, shall we? She didn't deserve this madcap spectacle as far as I'm concerned. Uh, true. I agree with that. And he doesn't need to talk to us. We can talk to the rats? Let's talk to the rats. Oh, the squirrel got me thinking. Nope, I did not mean to do that. Say, <laughs> you think I'm a monster? I like my. Just folded my arms. Only a monster would threaten a child. You're protecting your own. Sometimes cruelty is re required. Honestly, I wanted to. S I, w I wanted to see what would happen. I don't know. I don't like either. I don't like any of these responses. I'll just do the first yes, one. You would say so. I know your kind. Oh, my kind. There's only villains and victims. Hmm. A viper bears her fangs, defending her brood. I call her mother. You call her monster. You were the one who said monster first. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the right is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. Oh my. Okay. No matter. I took back the idol. This right must be born of magic, powerful magic. Zevlor believes his people will perish on the road. Do what you want. It's none of my concern. Reach for your weapon. Oh, am I trying to win her behavior right now? Okay. Sorry. This right must be born of powerful magic. I think we want, might want to be, hmm. The right Let's do that one. Thorns. It is the tree father's gift that none come to harm. When we speak the final prayer. The great vine will sprout forth. The grove will be cloaked in bramble and thorn. No one enters, no one leaves. Sanctuary. None of this can happen while outlanders infect us. Sylvanus demands that we choke them out. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I feel like do what you want is none of my concern is not a good... Mm, his, per his, his people could perish if you force them out. And mine perish if he stays. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Sevlor. Offer to guide the outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. What? Not, the viper must strike. Then it seems I'd best speak with Zevlar. Prattle all you want, the refugee. Uh, <clears throat> they have a druid that can help us, right? Is that not what just happened? I'm trying to think. The attack has been there the whole time. Let's let's do prattle all you want. The refugees aren't my concern. Maybe she'll offer up a maybe she'll offer up a solution for the mind flare parasite. Then they soon know the sting of my venom. Oh. We have no more business. Was that wrong? <laughs> Let's talk to the rat. I feel like I messed up. I feel like wrath, maybe. You did well to speak up for the girl. That snake is fickle. A tragedy prevented. That Kaga seems dangerous. And if I hadn't spoken up, what would have happened? I've heard there's some sort of ritual going on. Okay, what? What would have happened? Nothing befitting a child. Nothing befitting any of our world's creatures. We've let a snake replace our leader. She will see the tieflings driven out or worse. Oh, we should have attacked her then. Kaga seems happy to rule the roost. Who's your real leader? I'm looking for Neti. How did Kaga take over the whole grove? Who is your real leader? House in. Perhaps Goblin Court, perhaps dead. He'd set Mistress Korga back in line. Hold her to task. Stop this damn ritual. More will die if the rite is finished. So many more sent into a world gone mad. If no one's looking for Haslin, I could do it. I am looking for Ned Netty. Ah, I see. You will find her deeper in the caves. Okay, if no one's looking for Haslin, I could do you? it. I would give anything to see Halsin return. Oh, Halsin, sorry. 
<laughs> no need to fret, I'll find him. I'd like a more solid offer than anything. Never mind, I'm not interested. Hmm. Nope. My character is all about being honest and true while having a roguish, devilish behavior. So I'm a little bit on the gray line. And my gratitude as well. Halston is an elf with the presence of a bear. He left west with the adventurers. You won't mistake the first druid for anyone else. Okay. So she is deeper in the caves. We are going to have to talk to deeper into the druid's chambers. Oh, is this her? Is this Nettie? Yes. Oh, what was curious? Something over here? The bookshelf? Stone tablets? Oh, this? I can't even see a lock to pick. Let's talk to Nettie. I see you. Just give me a moment. Is there anything I can do to help? Let's wait patiently. This we don't have any healing powers. There's nothing we can do to help. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what was it you needed? I'm looking for Nettie. I need help. Now. Healing. Looks like I came to the right person. I do what I can. For most folks, that's enough. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You seem healthy enough. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. No good way of putting this. I uh, have a tadpole in my head. I cannot believe they referenced this as a tadpole. It's so funny. It definitely did not look like any tadpole I've ever seen. More than tired, something crawled into my eye. Right. Yes. I'm very tired indeed. No way good, no good way of putting this. A tadpole? A mind flare tadpole? The very same. You know of them? Can you help me? What other kinds are there? It's not like a frog hopped in my eye. <laughs> That's actually a hilarious response. Actually, never mind. I'll have to get help elsewhere. Hmm. You know of them? Can you help me? I, uh, I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. Oh, so there is a thing over here. When we did those perception checks, I was wondering if we were going to go through the store sometime. I didn't think pissing off Nettie was a good idea. There's a couple of things we can do to... In that vessel. Ooh, ooh. Take a closer look. Oh, this vessel? This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. There is so much in this game, and I'm so impressed because it's... It, I can just see myself as the tabletop game. If this were like my actual party, I can just see everything. You walk into this room where the stone, the stone slabs part ways. And as you enter the room, you notice there's a, a guy laying on the table, face up towards the ceiling with an expressionless face. Nettie walks over to the medicine table that there seems to be a couple of jars laid, laid about. One of which looks like there could be a, some sort of liquid in there. And and then as they kind of opens up with this this setting i would imagine that you're given an option as the player to be like okay what do you want to do first and what's nice about this game is that you just automatically do the checks the skill checks versus on a tabletop game you have to actively say you what you want to do i would have to verbally go i want to go to that table and i want to look and see if i find anything interesting on the table or something like that and then they you know the gm i'm sorry uh, dm the dungeon master yeah, they, they, they basically go, okay, roll for perception or something like that. But in this game, they already roll for perception. Sorry, I'm on a side tangent here. The Dao and I have the same kind of parasite question mark. I'm hoping for a less grave cure. So you killed him and laid him out on the table. Is everyone... Ex Everyone being captured by mind flayers these days didn't think that was a common experience. I'm hoping for a less grave cure. Okay. I'll do the best I can. Okay, that does I'm not look good. Halston, mind. He'd have your tadpole out like that. Still, we have options. Okay, so we really do have to go find him. To be here for this. Please don't mind me. I'll just watch. All right. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. Thank you. I'll take anything that can help. What's that plant? Will it help? H hurry up and cure me. I don't have time to chat. Uh, let's just say thank you. Of course. Now, tell me what's been happening. Any symptoms? 
Strange events. I can merge my mind with anyone else's that's infected. I fell from the ship in the sky, but something caught me and it saved my life. An in intellect devourer spoke to me as if I were one of its own. I think the falling from the sky and something strange caught me, but it saved my life. And the top one, are, I think this is what I want answers about. Protected from on high. Sounds like the drow. Master Halson said he was tougher than he had any right to be. How do you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. On the Mind Flayer ship, I was kidnapped and infected. I don't know. I just woke up with it. You're asking a lot of questions. Look, are you going to cure me or not? We're asking a lot of questions. Yeah, um, I was kidnapped and infected. A Mind Flayer <laughs> ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me. So I'll be straight with you. Oh. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. My honesty? You deserve <gasps> a chance to save yourself. She was going to kill me? This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me. You'll swallow it if you feel any I thought you were going to help me. I thought you were going to cure me. What about what are the branch of yours? The thorn? Coated in a fatal toxin. It was a last resort, in case I couldn't trust you. I don't have a cure. Only a way out. Jesus Christ! I'm sorry for misleading you, but I had to be sure you weren't a threat before I told you everything. Now. Glad I decided to be honest. Um, yeah, I'll swear. I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. We're not getting any points with the Starian right now. <laughs> you know, I spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hells was going on. What the hells was going on? <laughs> because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flares out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. That is true. What do you mean should be changing? Well, we already kind of know that we should already start feeling symptoms, but we haven't from... G Gail told us that we should be feeling some symptoms, but we haven't. You must have learned something from studying them. Just tell me if there's a cure or not. Let's do the second one. For one, that thing in your head is like nothing we've ever seen from Mind Flayers. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers. Telepathic connection. Oh, so she already knew about that. turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. Huh. I think we had a string of good answers then. That's good. I was wondering why she was asking me so many questions before. So you think it's only a matter of time? That's good news, question mark. You said you were tracking other victims. Did they change? It's hard to say, but there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna. And I've no idea why. Oh. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers. Joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. So we have to, we have to find Hasl Hal Hal Halson. What do you want me to do? So go and get him. You think he's still alive? I think so. I hope so. I've sent birds to find him, but they can't get close without goblins trying to shoot them down. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean, they won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get True. out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? Sounds like a deal. All right, I'll find Hal Halson. Sounds like you're making a lot of assumptions that could kill me. Are you sure he could cure me? This sounds like suicide. I won't do it. Well, we already told somebody else we'll go find him. So let's just say yes. It would mean everything to the groom. To me, I wish I could tell you more, but only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna, and Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there, and if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember mm. the Wyvern toxin. That is so in. Can we actually look at. Um. Oh, here we go. So uh, there was a bottle here. They said that mind flare parasite specimen. I don't really want to steal anything. Not unless I need to steal. Oh, okay. What are you two doing? Get off the table. 
it's considered rude. Okay, we have our objective. We've done a couple things right, and I think we've done some good. I also had some very confusing moments um, a little while ago. So we really have to go find Halzen. I also really think we have to go help the, we have to go help the refugees but I think I might've just screwed them over. Maybe by finding Halzen, I'll be able to save the refugees in turn. Okay, and with that, I think our journey will have to continue in the next episode. I definitely have to be careful with these recordings. So I didn't realize how many cutscenes there was gonna be in this game. And I I don't wanna cut out any dialogue or cutscene options. I really wanna make it as story-like as possible. And by clipping all of the story pieces together, I hope it makes it more immersive as a playthrough series. I know that we're gonna be cutting out a lot of the fighting scenes, but really, if, he, if there's something important, I'll show what's important. I think what's most telling about this game is the story aspect and that's what I want to really focus on and I have to be really careful because the last couple of episodes I recorded I recorded up to two hours worth and it was just when I went into editing it was insane so hard to edit because it was so long I want to make my episodes pretty pretty similar to how Elden Ring was structured within 20 to 30 minutes and so you'll find that we'll do bits and pieces as we can go along. But the cutscenes take up so much time in this game that I guarantee that this episode will still probably be like 30 minutes long, which is insane. But thank you guys so much for watching and starting this playthrough with me. I've been really excited to play it, so I hope it takes off and that you guys also enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss out on any other content that we release on the channel. And of course, let me know in the comments what you think so far, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Mwah.